An underground sting operation led investigators to Pike Place Market, where a brazen trafficking ring was operating in plain sight, and their product, Legos. A Seattle shop owner now accused of knowingly buying thousands of dollars worth of Lego sets that were stolen and then reselling them for much more. Fox 13 News reporter Olivia Lavoie dives in tonight. This is the Lego room. RJ Coughlin has loved Legos his entire life. Pretty much my first memory is of getting a, Le a Lego set for Christmas. In his Lego room, there are roughly 250,000 pieces. That is not a lot. I know that some people may think that is a lot, but I do know people that are in the Million Brick Club at this point. Coughlin is on the board of directors for BrickCon, which he says is the longest running fan convention for adult Lego enthusiasts in America. So when it comes to Lego related crime, he's in the know. There are literally organized retail theft rings that specialize in stealing Lego. It's been happening for several years. The Coughlin says while Lego theft is an issue across the country, but it's very, very prominent, I think, here in the Northwest. He says he thinks that's in part because there's such a demand for Lego sets in this area, especially high-end sets designed for adults that can set you back $800 a pop. You could go to Fred Meyer and Walmart in many parts of the city in the outlying areas, and you'll actually see that the Lego sets are locked up behind big glass cases. This summer, a downtown Amazon store started noticing a shoplifter taking off with Star Wars Lego sets and other items, sometimes multiple times a day. As the loss creeped up into the thousands, an Amazon employee walked into a Pike Place Market store and recognized some of the stolen items. Thus began SPD's months-long investigation that revealed the store owner allegedly bought the items from the shoplifter and then sold them in his shop. SPD says they confiscated 171 stolen Lego sets. Coughlin says he wasn't that surprised to hear about it, considering what he sees regularly. And you will see shelves that are pretty much empty. And if you talk to the employees, it will tell you literally somebody that morning came, loaded up the cart full of Lego and just walked right out of there. He says if you buy a Lego for a deal that seems too good to be true. There's probably a reason for that. Olivia LaVoice, Fox 13 News.